According to Juja Sub-County Police Commander Dorothy Migarusha, police officers were acting on information disclosed to them by some residents that suspected there were illegal business going on in the three-bedroomed house in Thome, where the 104 suspected Ethiopians were living. Watu wakatupigia simu, wakatuambia kuna watu ambao wameonekana wakiruka kwenye ukuta na tukaweza kuwakimbiza. Tuleweza kushika watu sita. Lakini kulingana na uh, mambo ambavyo wameendelea ni kwamba walikuwa ni 15 sita ndio tuliweza kuwaleta hapa. Haa ni watu wanakaa wa Ethiopia na wako mpaka vinjana wadogo. Hata wengine hawaelewi Kiswahili. Na ni kama walikuwa natoloka juu hata maji chakula hakuna na ni wengi. The police boss noted that the aliens who were aged between 15 and 40 had no identification documents and that investigations to establish individuals behind the suspected human trafficking racket as well as the aliens destination had been launched. Tumepata watu wanaume ambao wana karibu ni watu 104. Wako wa miaka kati ya miaka 15 na miaka 40 na tunashuku kwamba wanaweza kuwa wametoka nchi jirani nchi ya Ethiopia na tunashuku hii ni mambo ya ulanguzi ya, ya watu ama human trafficking so tumefika hapa tumeanzisha uchunguzi tujue ni nani mwenye kuwaleta na pia kuangalia ni wapi walikuwa naelekea She however noted that two people who have been cooking for the aliens are in police custody and will assist the police in the investigations <laughs> Residents said that they became suspicious after six of the aliens scaled up the wall of the house they had been locked in and tried to escape. Tujulisho mpaka wenye wanapotea wa Kenya wako wapi? Kumaanisha security ya huku juu watu ndio saidi unaonekana wanajenga jenga huku. Kumaanisha security hapa watu wana The police commander hailed residents for disclosing the crucial information urging them to continue working closely with officers by providing information that will lead to the arrest of culprits in the region. Robi Omondi K24 Nairobi